host to wine itself at the wine festival in Veve on Lake Geneva. This lavish procession is one of the highlights of Switzerland's biggest wine festival. It's only held once every 20 to 25 years as a tribute to the work in the vineyards, right down to fighting the pests that attack the grapes. The procession is led by the hundred Swiss, one-time bodyguards to the French king. Now they protect the wine growers, as guardsman Patrick Frasserin explains. Why every 20 to 25 years? The festival is to be held only once a generation, as decreed by the Vevey fraternity of wine growers. It's a celebration of the wine growers who work the vineyards all year. A frequent sight in the region are these tractors, used to carry loads through the vineyards. Sitting on the load bed is wine grower Jean Dubout. At the last wine festival, he was just 10 years old. It's like a great big party. We meet lots of people from our own troupe and performers from other troops as well. And here in Vevey, there are lots of wine cellars along the lakeshore that we run and where we can go have a glass together. The festival reaches its climax with the crowning of the wine grower king in the arena. In 2019, it's 56 year old Jean Daniel Berthet. The wine growers who work with the vines are monitored by the wine growers fraternity. They developed a point system for it that's been used for a few years now. The wine growers fraternity visits the different vineyards and assigns grades, and whoever gets the best results is crowned king. The festival has been well documented over its more than three centuries long history. Every festival is more extravagant than the last. Now, fans not only come from all over Switzerland, but from around the world. Months of work have gone into building this ultra-modern stadium, especially for the 2019 festival. It can seat 20,000 spectators, enough for the coronation festivities. A play is staged in the arena, another tribute to wine growing, of course. It's a highlight that's held several times during the 25-day festival. Playing cards symbolize the whims of nature, which brings good and bad vintages. The grapes on the renowned Terrasse de Lavaux grow right above Lake Geneva, where the surrounding mountains protect them from the wind and cold weather. This is where wine grower Guillaume Potterin and his family have their vineyard. What makes the vineyards in Lavaux special are our three suns. The sun in the sky that shines on the terraces, the reflection of the sun in the lake, and then the stone walls that store heat and release it onto the slopes. That's what's special about the slopes here. The Potera family has been growing wine for generations. Father, son and uncle meet up in the morning to taste their light, dry white wine made from the Chasselas grape. They still own the wine press used by their great great grandfather Jean Francois Potera. They started making wine in the Lavaux region back in the 11th century. The Cistercian monks established vineyards all over Europe. They planted the first vines on the steep slopes because they owned that land, and because there wasn't much else you could use it for. Back in Veve, standard bearers from many of the Swiss cantons march along the lakeshore promenade. Guillaume Potterin is handing the tradition on to his family's next generation. The last time was in 1999, and I took part myself. Now I'm very happy to be showing my daughter the festival. It's a major event, and as a wine grower, it makes me very proud.
This year, the festival runs until August the 11th in VV on Lake Geneva, with many attractions to come. Anyone who misses it will have to wait at least 20 years for the next one. <laughs>